Oh, eh, maestro, ¿verdad? El teacher, ok. Sí, sí, correcto. ¿Qué tal? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, ¿cómo están? Eh, Ready, calidad, ¿cómo están? Calidad. Good evening. Good evening. Le daba y le daba a la, a la, para unirme a la clase y nunca cargaba. Como acabo de terminar una clase. Sí, sí. Uh, lo en siento el cambio ahí. de clases. En da, el cambio de clases. Mm-hmm. Okay. Excellent. But we are ready. Thank you. Bye, chicos. Eh, ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo han estado? Thanks God. We are well. We are good. Okay. ¿Y qué tal del tormentón de ayer? <laughs> no, hombre, ayer fue, ayer fue tres en uno. Caeron <laughs> tres tormentas en uno. En combo. Claro. Sí, sí. Sobre todo en la zona central, ¿verdad? Tras una, otra y otra. O sea que fueron tres la, tormentas. Correctamente. La costa, la costa sufrió bastante. Sí, correcto. Veía la libertad. Sí. Yuca. Sí. Bueno, pero como ¿Dónde, dijeron. ¿Dónde viviste? Bien, a ti, Vivo hasta San Martín. Ah, ajá. Uh -huh. Sí, excelente. Pero gracias a Dios, donde vivieron la zona. Este, no tenemos ningún, bueno, al menos en la casa donde vivo no hay ningún riesgo. Pero no sí, hay cerca de, de muros o paredones o no, árboles gracias enormes. A, gracias a Dios, no. Los árboles uh -huh. hace poco los puede todos. Ah, excelente. Sí, es, es muy peligroso. Sí. Ese que le estoy dando a la cámara. Y no, no se ha podido. Es que lo que pasa es que, que después de la clase empieza a cargar la clase anterior. Es decir, cuando termina una clase, termina uh -huh. la clase y, y Zoom empieza a cargar ah, eh, esa okay. clase. Entonces, como que ahí da un pequeño detalle. Pero en el transcurso de la clase lo voy a encender, ni modo. Ok. Uh -huh. eh, thank you guys for being on time. Okay. And, uh, do you remember what was the previous class that we were studying before? We were studying sequence albums and also the history of our childhood. Okay. How uh, how do you uh, find those sequence words? Were they interesting for you? Was that something easy that you were able to manage and control? Or was completely difficult? How do you feel? No, in, in my case, it's not difficult. Because that was, that was not common, difficult. common used first, then next, after that, finally. Okay, and also, yeah. I, was, uh, I was looking for uh, others, and mm -hmm. I found uh, frequency. Mm -hmm. Others are also interesting. Okay. That's great. All right. Now, uh, remember that this week is going to be our final week, unfortunately. Okay. Yeah. But like I said before, your main purpose should be to continue practicing. Practicing, practicing, and practicing. And yeah, right. pra practice makes perfect, remember. Um, so today's topic just let me go ahead and share something here. Like I said, I'm going to turn the camera on uh, in some minutes as soon as I'm able to solve this issue. For some reason, I'm, I'm not able to do it right now. But today's topic, you will be able to see it on the chat and that's going to be related to going to versus will. What do you really know about those topics? Going to and will. What do you know? When do we use those topics? And what's the difference between uh, going to and will? Raise your hands if you want to participate. Who's ready? Okay, let's listen to Oscar, then Vicente. And we're going to compare like the different definitions that you have. Well, uh, I think the going to is uh, for uh, an auxiliary verb. There auxiliary you go. Verb. 
um, yeah, you got it. Um, yeah. And will is in the future. Yeah, yes, we see. You. Um, and will is to the future. Mm -hmm. And going to. Going to um, auxiliar verbs uh, to the present. Okay. So that's the definition. Remember that we're going to give different opinions, but I want to I want to know who is right and who is wrong. Okay. Uh, Oscar, you are half right, half wrong. <laughs> okay, then we're going to listen to Carlos. Uh, Vicente. Okay. Um, okay, uh, both we we use to refer future. Mm -hmm. And going to is uh, something that uh, will happen a hundred percent, and will is uh, something that will happen more or less eighty percent of of uh, we are not really sure. I guess. Mm -hmm. hmm. Okay, so you are seventy percent right. Carlos, let's much. listen to Carlos. Yeah, okay, okay, teacher. Uh, going to uh, Vicente, it's right, but it, it, at the inverse. Oh, really? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, will is something you will um, you are sure that you will do. It's a firm affirmation, and going to is something maybe uh, it happens. I Who think. is right? <laughs> I will know. <laughs> okay, Giovanni says, uh, teacher, remember, I'm still at work. Uh-huh. Also, I remember that going to me is something that we, we're going to do immediately. Mm -hmm. And uh, and the uh, will, I guess, is uh, uh, more time. It, it takes more time. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> we Hasta a mí me confundieron ya. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we hope you, you're going to help us. Okay, it's all right. All right. Uh, let's listen to Sarai. Sarai, Sarai Prejos. When do us. we use... Uh -huh. When do we use going to? When do we use will? I think you are... You are mute. mute. Mm -hmm. We cannot hear you. Now? You can hear me? Yeah. Yes, we can. Okay. Going to, uh, we use uh, when we are sure that something is going to happen. And we use will uh, for things that we would like to happen in the future. For things that you would like to happen in the future. Yes. Mm, okay. All right. Thank you, guys. Evelyn says, going to, for you are sure that something and will is for possibility. Oh, that sounds much better. Thank you, Evelyn. Okay. Most of the times, let's give an applause to Evelyn. Okay. Excellent. Great. Thank you, Evelyn. Uh, she is around let's say 95 or 99 percent so going to we use going to most of the times i'm not saying 100 percent, but i'm saying 95 or 97 percent for plans that you are 100 percent sure are going to happen going to for future plans future plans uh, that you are 100% sure are going to happen. 100% future plans. You can write like this. 100%. Is That is going to. Going to. Exactly. Okay. For yeah. example, let me give you one example. Let's say that you would like to go to the United States. Okay. But the previous week, uh, you bought the tickets, the flying tickets. You also bought some luggages. 
you have money in the bank. So you can say, I'm going to travel the next month. I'm going to, because you have planned already. Yeah. You are 100% sure. Or at Everything least- already too. Exactly, or at least 90% sure that is going to happen. Okay? okay. For future plans. Future plans. And will, we use will for predictions. For not sure. Pro, uh, predictions for possibilities. Thank you, Evelyn. Possibilities. And you also, let's see, those are the most common ones. Predictions, possibilities, decisions taken at the moment. That's the other one. Decisions taken at the moment. For example, let's say um, suddenly you get you get hungry, right? And then you can say, "I will buy an ice cream." So it's a decision that you have taken right now. It it is not something that is going to happen. How about predictions? If you see the sky cloudy, you can say, "Oh, it will rain. It will rain." It will rain. It's a prediction. It's not 100% sure because sometimes you can see the sky dark, but it doesn't mean that it's going to rain. Sometimes the rain disappears suddenly. Yeah. Is that true? True. So, for example, you can say possibility. Uh, let's focus on possibilities. Just let's give some examples and then we're going to go uh, one by one, going to and then will. Uh, for predictions, I already gave you one example, right? A prediction, a, it will rain. Or let's say that you are watching a soccer match between um, Barcelona and Real Madrid. So a prediction can be like, Barcelona is going to win three out of zero, right? Barcelona three, Real Madrid is zero. That's going to be a prediction. A prediction, but right. At the end, really. at the end, Madrid is going to be the winner, right? Yeah, so right. in the soccer match, everything changes. Okay. So, like another prediction can be like, let's see, uh, my son is going to be a great engineer, Carlos can say. However, that's his prediction. But at the end of the day, uh, Carlos Sons decides to study medicine. All right. So okay. in that case, that was his prediction. But at the end, uh, Carlos Sons decided to study something else. You can say, oh, my son will be a great engineer. Okay. Yeah, that's sure, a prediction. But in the in the first case, in the the soccer play, you use going to. Is that okay? Soccer player, oh, no, between Barcelona and Madrid. Yes, yes. Will it win. Going. Did I say going to? Yes. Oh, I, I'm sorry, my mistake. Uh that's will for predictions. Okay. Will for predictions. So between uh, uh, Real Madrid and Barcelona, you can say, oh, Real Madrid is going to, I mean, will win the match, okay? Oscar okay, says, I'm sorry, my, in my internet is falling, but I'm come back again, okay? So another prediction can be, um, let's see, I will buy, a big house. That's your prediction. Maybe you are starting saving money, right? But that's not a plan. Give me some other example about predictions. You can say another prediction. There will be no traffic at all. That's your prediction because you can see the, the empty roads. But uh, suddenly you can see a lot of traffic 
on the road and your prediction was not the best. So give me another example using will for predictions. Will for predictions and then possibilities and decisions taken at the moment. Will pass the next test. Evelyn does her prediction. Okay. Give me another prediction. So, for example, let's say that uh, you are waking up uh, early in the morning and you can say, oh, this will be a great day. But at the end of the day, everything went wrong. So your prediction was not good. Okay, Carlos, give me another prediction. Okay, uh, for example, I will drink a coffee at 3 p.m. today. At 3 p.m., mm, okay. Mm, okay. Because it's something. That, but that, that becomes a possibility. Eso es lo que quiero que entiendan primero. Cuando es una predicción y cuando es una posibilidad. Yes, but in the chat uh, you put the will is for prediction, possibilities, and decision take it at the moment. Correcto. That's right. Correcto. Pero lo que quiero es que sepan definir o identificar cuando es una predicción. Okay. Una predicción es como algo que vos te estás anticipando a ah, pero realmente no ha sucedido. Por ejemplo, tú, Carlos, puedes decir, ah, si sí, digamos que, este, no sé, uno de tus hijos eh, le gusta pintar, por ejemplo. Mm. Entonces, tu predicción puede ser, oh, my son will be a great painter. Paint. ¿Sí? Y vos yeah. te lo imaginas como trabajando en las artes y no sé. Sí. Pero, de repente viene él y... y Cambia de, ajá, cambia de parecer y dice, no, yo no quiero ser un pintor, yo quiero ser, no sé, un arquitecto, a, algo diferente a, al arte, ¿sí? Entonces, tu yeah. predicción fue esa, pero al final, fue, o sea, una predicción es un 50-50. Ok. ¿Es it clear? It's clear. Clear. Like, for example, let's say... Um, let's say that, give me, le, let me give you one example. Let's say that Carlos has a Ferrari car, right? And Vicente has, I don't know, Toyota, a Kaya or a Toyota <laughs> car. Okay. So <laughs> uh, Edwin's prediction can be like, uh, Carlos is going to arrive, I mean, will arrive early to the to the job or earlier oh. than Vicente. Okay. <laughs> but unfortunately on the road, Carlos stopped his car because the car uh was not working properly. And at the end the winner will be Vicente. Okay. So with, Toyota. with the Toyota car, okay. <laughs> Even though Carlos car is new, more expensive, etc. Oh but, my god. Uh -huh. But Edwin's prediction was that Carlos' car will be the first one to arrive to the job. Okay. Is that understandable? Okay, yes. Okay, we understand. Okay. So, so Carlos, please be careful. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, I got uh, an example. Uh huh. Give me one example for predictions. Uh, a prediction, right? Uh, for example, um, it would be an it would be a hurricane because we we feel the the wind. Oh, but there will be a, a big hurricane. Okay. Hurricane. All right, or tornado. Or tornado because we we feel mm -hmm. um, some winds. No. Okay, so that's your prediction, right? Right. Let's listen to somebody else, Edgar. What's your prediction? I will buy some donuts tomorrow. Donuts tomorrow. <laughs> I will buy some donuts tomorrow. Mm -hmm. In my time, please. 
Pero no están, no están entendiendo la predicción. Una predicción. <laughs> una, uh, one prediction can be like, my prediction for tomorrow at Mr. Dunnett, there will be a, a lot of people. Or a lot of people. That those places will be crowded. Okay? Mm -hmm. So that's my prediction because of the, the season, right? There are a lot of uh, donuts being bitten. I mean, being eaten by people. That's right. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, but for me, it's prediction because I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm going to buy it. <laughs> mm, okay. Vale, lo que, eso es lo que yo quiero, que entiendan cuándo es una predicción y cuándo es una posibilidad. En ese caso, Edgar, esa fue posibilidad, possibility, no es una predicción. But it's correct, use will. Es correcto, pero no en el contexto adecuado. The prediction. The prediction. Using correcto. possibility. Mm -hmm. About the traffic, the, uh, is prediction, right? Because A I'm prediction, sure. ajá. Uh -huh. For example, oh, let's yeah. let's say that uh, you can see um, two. I will go out tomorrow early. That's a possibility. Because I don't know. I'm not sure how going to be that traffic. But that's a possibility, actually. For example, let's see that you are walking on the streets, and then you see two drunkards. And your prediction will be that those drunkards are going to fall asleep on the road. But five minutes later, you saw them uh, in their houses. All right. So your prediction will, will, uh, was um, to see them on the road falling asleep. But at the end, you saw them in their houses. Does it make sense? Everybody? Yeah. Vicente, give me another example, please. Another prediction. And, uh, yeah, prediction. OK. Um... <clears throat> It will be, uh, tomorrow it will be uh, cold. The weather will be cold. Okay, tomorrow the weather will be cold. Okay, yeah, because you feel the fresh air right now, correct? Fresh air right now, yeah. That's but... your prediction. We are mm -hmm. not sure. Uh -huh. Thank you. Sarai, give okay. me one prediction. And that's, that's the last one. I will work in a big company after my university graduation. Okay. Is that a prediction or possibility? What do you think? Possibility, I guess. I would say possibility. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Could be. Solo Carlos, bueno, Vicente sí, ya le quedó claro de las predictions. Carlos, give me, give me another example for predictions. Oh, let me see. For example, um, I, I will be late tomorrow for the class. I will be late tomorrow for the class. That will be a possibility. It's, it's right? Uh, the structure, right. The prediction, no. Okay. Mm -hmm. For example, you can say a prediction. My company will be the best. Maybe <laughs> because you are receiving a lot of incomes and your company is growing. So your prediction will be that your company will be the best. Okay. Does it make sense? Okay. Le veo una 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 cara de de un gran signo de interrogación. Confused. We sí. are confused. 
What, when we will use going to? Teacher. No, pero es que ahorita sí. lo, que, lo que estamos enfocándonos es con el will. Teacher. Okay. If I say, I'm feeling bad right now. Um, tomorrow I will be sick. Va. Ahí está súper correcto. Prediction. Esa es tu predicción, porque te sentís mal. Tomorrow I will be sick. Okay. Okay, that's your prediction. Uh -huh. Is it clear? clear? Okay, now possibilities. Uh, you can say, I will buy a new car within three months. That's a possibility because I'm saving money. Possibility and decisions taken at the moment, those are easy. Piece of cake. But predictions is like, not complicated, but you need to understand when to express a prediction. That's your challenge. Okay. okay. Now, moving forward. Going to. Going to, we said that is for a future plans that we're 100% sure, correct? So, what is going to be one plan for this coming Thursday? We are going to... Finish, finish the course. Okay, that's a plan because it, it is already a schedule. Right. right. We are around 95% at, at, unless something else happens. Okay? Yeah. Give me one sentence using going to, Evelyn. I'm going to buy a new car. I'm going to buy a new car. Okay. Okay. Now, let's see, Oscar. Give me one sentence using going to. Um, this evening next to the class, I'm going to sleep. This evening next to the class. Uh, this evening or this night. After the class, I'm going to sleep. Okay. Tonight, after the class, I'm going to sleep. Okay. Oh, thanks, cool. thanks. You're welcome. Now, uh, let's listen to uh, Sandra Elizabeth. By the way, guys, turn your cameras on, please. In case you're having like some issues, just let me know. But if your camera is working, turn it on. Eh, fíjese que no lo tengo muy claro. El que no le quedó claro. O la cámara no tiene clara, no entendí. No, 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 no le entendí mucho el tema. Okay. Eh, it's simple. Going to for future plans that you're 100% sure will uh, possibilities, predictions, and decisions taken at the moment. That's it. Possibility, you will be a great English speaker because you have been practicing, right? Okay, that's a possibility. Uh, let's see, uh, Vicente, going to. Okay, I'm going to work tomorrow. You're going to work tomorrow, okay. I'm going to wake up at 4.30 a.m. tomorrow. That's my plan. It's something, hasta la alarma tengo ya. <laughs> so, that's my plan, definitely. Carlos, give me one plan using going to. Okay, I'm, I'm going to buy some food tonight. Because Some food. Yes. Because okay. you're hungry. He's hungry <laughs> and he is a little bit late. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's his plan. Uh, Edgar, give me one sentence using going to. Ah, li eh, eh, I, didn't, I didn't read the Evelyn's example. It says, Najib Bukele will win the next election. That's a, an excellent prediction. Prediction. Why? Because everybody is supporting him. Okay. So 
That's the prediction. But prediction. I don't know, something can happen. It's not something that it's already uh, done, right? right? We're not 100% sure, but that's a prediction from Salvadorian people. Excellent, yes. Evelyn. Great job. This is a prediction. Yes. Okay. Uh huh. Vicente, do you give me the ends, the, the example? Uh, I'm not going to. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, um, I'm going to read the, the, le the English lessons after class. Okay. Thank you. Elizabeth, give me one example. Ah, se está escondiendo de la cámara para que no la vea. Ajá. <laughs> uh -huh. You are mute, I think. Sorry. <laughs> my, my shirt is very short. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. um, example, Don't worry about it. Maybe I'm going to to going I'm going to work um long hours tomorrow. <laughs> ah okay. Because uh -huh. you are so busy at work. Yeah. Be careful because back of you are a mirror. Uh-huh. <laughs> Be careful, we are watching you. <laughs> <laughs> Behind you is a big mirror. <laughs> Desde aquí lo estamos viendo. Tiene un espejo atrás, así que cuidado. ¿A dónde? Atrás de usted. Todo está mapeado. Este Vicente es malía, ¿eh? Well, bad boys, the boys. Mm -hmm. No, 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 I'm good. I'm good person. Ajá. Ok, guys. Eh, let me go ahead and share my computer's screen. Once you can see it, just let me know, please. It says, I, wa I would like to listen to, let's see. Let me select, I think, Sarai, read the lesson objective. Picture 10 is what we use to discuss our plans and helps. In this lesson, learn how to use going to and will to convert a statement to the future tense. English teach Joy Size explain these two different ways to talk about future plans step by step. Using a simple formula, formula. ask, formula, ask and answer. Mm -hmm questions using going to and will as auxiliary verb verbs and practice discussing your future plans. For example, an upcoming vacation, holidays with family, or even your plans for later in the day. Thank you. Upcoming vacation. All right. Now, let's listen to this video. I would like you to take notes because they are going to give you like more explanation, more ideas, etc. Once you can listen to it, just let me know, please. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll learn. Can how you listen to it? We listen right yeah. now. You'll also yeah, learn how we to are. Use, yes. be going to and will as you're expressing your future plans. For example, I'm going to go to France for my next vacation. I'm not sure what place I'll visit yet, but I think I'll visit the Eiffel Tower. Before I explain the grammar involved in this lesson, I would like to play an audio program to illustrate how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully and take notes as I'll ask a few questions about this listening activity at the end. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. 
I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll hang out with my friends and watch some movies. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We're going to go surfing every day. And my cousin likes to fish, so maybe we'll go fishing one day. Sounds like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. That's great. The more the merrier. By the way, where are we going to stay? Oh, we can stay in my aunt and uncle's beach house. They have plenty of room, and I'm sure they'll be happy to have guests. I'll call them tonight to let them know what time we're going to arrive. I guess we'll leave pretty early. There's a direct bus every morning at 5 a.m. That's fine with me. I think I'll be too excited to sleep. Now let me present this structure. What we want to do in this lesson is learn how to talk about future plans using going to and will. Now for the main part, both of those are quite similar when you express future plans, or when you express things about the future. But what we're going to learn in this class is that we're going to use be going to whenever you talk about something that you've decided on. That's the key here. Something that you've decided on, we're going to use be going to. So let me give you a quick example about that. Let's say that you're going to take a vacation. You already bought the plane ticket. You already got permission from your job so it's very unlikely that you'll change these plans in order to express these ideas you're gonna use be going to to express that so for example I'm gonna take vacations next week I'm gonna go to France that's just a quick example there um, you're almost sure that that event will happen on the other hand let's say that you're gonna uh, you want to take vacation but you don't know yet. You haven't even asked your boss about it yet. And so um, you're chatting with some friends and they ask you, so what are you planning to do for your vacations? And maybe you respond, well, I'm not sure. I guess I'll go to Europe next month. But I don't know. I haven't bought the tickets. I haven't asked my boss whether I can go or not. And so in order to express that idea that you haven't decided on then we're gonna use these expressions I guess I'll just um, stay home Th these are the examples here in the book but um, going back to our example about vacations I'll guess I'll travel but I'm not sure where uh, maybe I'll go somewhere in, in Europe I probably will go somewhere in Europe and that's I mean those are just my examples on on how uh, you will use these expressions. But the idea here is that if you're thinking about something that you're not sure about whether that will happen or not, then you're going to use these expressions towards the right. And that's the difference that we're going to learn in this particular class. So quickly before we talk about this particular chart, what I would like to do is just present the structure on how to form sentences with be going to so the examples on the left side of this chart in order for us to express our thoughts and ideas about the future with be going to we're gonna have some sort of subject so in this case I'm gonna say um, I am gonna stay home for the weekend okay that's what I want to express um, and so in order for us to form that idea, I'm going to have some sort of subject. This is going to follow the verb to be, and then this is going to follow going to. If you notice, going to is some kind of auxiliary to form our ideas in the future. And then this is going to follow the verb in its present form, and then whatever complements. So like in this case, I'm going to stay home for the weekend. Right? So this is what I've decided on doing. That's my plan. And so if you see towards the left side of the chart, we said that we're going to use be going to plus the verb for plans that you've decided on. Now, let me talk about things that I haven't decided on. So in order for me to talk about possibilities that will happen, then I'm going to use the expressions towards the right. Now, let me talk about the possibilities of what I'm going to do at my house. And so 
um, what I want to do is present this structure towards the right because what I want to do is I want to think about the things that I haven't made a decision on. So in order for me to express those ideas, what I want to do is I want to have some sort of possibility, if you will. All right. And so what do I mean by that? Well, the expressions such as I guess, all right, the expression maybe, uh, the expression I think, the expression I probably, okay? Um, and so that's what I want you to notice here, right? So, well, I'm going to stay home for the weekend, I guess, and then this is going to follow a subject. I will watch the football game, all right? And so I could do the same thing for the rest of the possibilities that I mentioned. These are just words that will guide me towards expressing that this is not something that I've decided on. Maybe I'll watch the football game. Uh, I think I'll watch the football game. I probably will watch the football game. Now, um, with this last one here, I would like for you to pay attention to that one. Um, this is not going to follow the subject, okay? Uh, it will just continue to follow. I probably will watch the football game. But for the rest, you will need that subject there in the middle, okay? I guess I'll watch the football game. Maybe I'll watch the football game. I think I'll watch the football game. But however, with this one, you don't want to use uh, a subject there in the middle. I probably will watch the football game. The last thing that I would like for you to do is to think about your next vacation and make a plan of where you want to go and then within that plan think of all the possibilities and of course use this topic that we're covering today in class. So you may use these questions to help you with this exercise. How are you going to spend your next vacation? Where are you going to go? When are you going to take your next vacation? How long are you going to be on vacation? Now, if you look at, let's say, the second question, where are you going to go? You might have decided to take your vacation and you might know exactly where to go. And then again, you might not. So if you're sure about it, then you're going to use the expressions towards the left. You're going to use be going to plus, um, you know, whatever complement that exists. So you're going to use I'm going to go to Europe. All right. That could be um, your plan. But if you don't know, you haven't decided on, I'm not sure of where I'm going to go. I guess I'll travel, but I don't know where. And so you'll use the expressions towards the right side of this chart. Okay, guys, I was watching the video and the video makes it easier for you. However, I decided to talk about not only possibilities, but also predictions as well as uh, decisions taken at the moment. Why? Because if you focus just on possibilities, it's okay, not a problem at all. However, uh, when you have the opportunity to read some books, then you will find some information that is going to be like confusing for you. And you will say, oh, why this person is using will? But this is uh, like, uh, I mean, um, a, a, scenario, a scenario that I um, that I didn't study before. So predictions and decisions taken at the moment, that's very important for you to know because that's where you can use will as well. Now, by focusing on those examples, I want you to mix those expressions or uh, those sentences structures with a plan and also a possibility. For example, I'm going to go to the lake uh, this coming Saturday. This coming Saturday. And 
uh, do you remember the expressions that the video asked you to use? Like maybe, probably, what else? What were some other expressions that were taught on the video? I guess, I think. I guess, I think, I reckon. Do you know, do you know about the, that meaning, I reckon? Do you know what the meaning is? I think, I reckon. Okay, I'm going to go to the late the uh to e let's see to the Ilopangos Lake. Ilopangos Lake. Okay, this coming Saturday. Probably, probably I will um drink some beers. I will drink some beers. Okay, that can be a possibility. Probably I will eat a fish. That can be another possibility. Okay, so that's my example. I'm mixing both, going to and will. Okay, does it make sense? Okay, I will buy, let's see. I'm sorry, I'm going to buy a new house. I'm going to buy a new house. Okay, maybe I will be uh, Edwin's, Edwin's neighbor, okay? Because I'm planning to buy the house I mean, in Edwin's neighborhood. So maybe I will be Edwin's neighbor. Does it make sense? I'm going to buy a new house. Maybe I will be Edwin's neighbor. So for example, you can say, I'm going to spend my vacation, my next vacation, vacation, in the USA or in the United States, if you wish. Um, I guess I will visit my relatives, relatives after a week, a week. Does it make sense? Yes, no, maybe, perhaps. I'm yes. going to spend my next vacation in the USA. I guess I will I will visit my relatives after a, a week. No okay. sé por qué esa oración quedó cortada. I'm going to spend my next vacation in the USA. I guess I will visit my relatives my relatives after a week. Okay, uh, now let's see. Oscar says, on Tuesday, I'm going to work and probably I will return late in the evening. So late in the evening. Okay, uh, Vicente, you have two options. I... You can either write it down on the chat or you can say it. Uh -huh. I'm going to say it. All right. I will buy um, a new car. So going to uh, first, to... sorry, going to first uh, and then will. Okay, good. After class, I'm going to talk with my family about, I will buy a new car. Mm -hmm. is, that, okay. is that correct? More or less. <laughs> okay, so after class, I'm going to talk I'm going to talk to my family about buying a new car. Probably it will be a Ferrari, like Carlos' car. <laughs> <laughs> it will be similar. Okay, maybe it will be similar to Carlos' car. The, only the difference will be the color. The color, all right. Yeah, That's right. Good. <laughs> okay. Now, let's see, I have Maria Jose, he says, I'm going to defend my thesis next week. Probably 
I'll graduate as an engineer in October. Great. Excellent. Okay. Great example. Thank you, Maria. Can I, can I give you my example, teacher? Of course. Um, I'm going to work this Saturday, but probably I will work just in the morning. I will work ah, just, just in the, in the morning. morning. Ah, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Great example. Excellent. Este, verdad que normalmente, bueno, en mi experiencia, en todas las instituciones donde sea que estudia, siempre les enseñan el going to y el will. Eh, en algunas veces se los explican la diferencia entre uno y el otro, y en otras veces sí se los le, le, eh, les explican ambos, pero solo en posibilidades. Nunca habían visto predicciones, ¿verdad? Mm. Uh -huh. Yo recuerdo que no, pero este, no es tan, una explicación tan profunda. Uh -huh. Solo así, rápidamente, este, will, futuro, sí, ya. Ok. Sí, pero es, es bueno saberlo, porque recuerden que los gringos hacen y deshacen con el inglés. Entonces, este, usted tiene que saber cuándo el contexto, I mean, cuándo usar la estructura en diferentes contextos o en diferentes escenarios, porque si no se va a quedar, mmm, ¿qué me trató de decir, verdad? No entendí. Entonces, uh -huh. siempre es bueno. Uh -huh. yes. Ok. Thank you. Now, let's continue, Saraí. Give me your example. Using going to first and then will. With the expressions probably, maybe, I guess, I reckon. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to take my dinner after class. Probably I will eat beans. Okay. Delicious. With cheese, correct? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Thank you. Now, Carlos, give me yours. Okay, teacher. Um... Vaya, hoy ya te veo más relajado, te veía con un signo de interrogación así. No, really, estaba confundido porque uh, lo que usted dijo, o sea, nunca me habían enseñado este, esta connotación de, estos dos, eh, de estas dos palabras y obviamente pues eh, tenía esa confusión porque yo entendía que will era cuando estábamos asegurando algo. Y, y era, no, era al contrario. Y era al contrario, correcto. Sí, y lo, y, lo, y lo comprobaste en el video, ¿verdad? Lo sí. único que en el video, so, ahí solo les explicó para planes y el will para posibilidades. Correcto, no le... incluso estaba en el video, eh, antes del subject, hay que poner las, las palabras como eh, pro, probablemente y eso. Entonces, ahí me queda un poco más claro. Excelente. Oh, ok, uh, my example is, um, I'm going to La Libertad de Weekend. Uh -huh. And probably I will eat some shells. I will probably eat. I will probably eat uh -huh. some shells. Some okay, shells. great job. Excellent. Now, let's see Elizabeth. Elizabeth yeah. solo analiza todo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um... I'm going to cook a cake for my husband. When? And I will and I, and I will hope uh, it will be tasty. <laughs> okay, I hope it will be tasty. Okay. Tasty. <laughs> All right. Thank you. I, I read that Edwin is a good player soccer. <laughs> soccer player. Soccer are you player. a soc are you a soccer player or a basketball player? Edwin, do you like soccer or basketball? Soccer play. Okay, thank you. Now, give me your example, please. Using going to and along with will. Edwin? I'm sorry. Um, example, my, my example, um, I am going to play soccer this Saturday. Mm -hmm. um, probably I will do a hat trick. <laughs> I will probably do. I will probably do a hat trick. Okay. Thank you. Great. Uh -huh. uh, Evelyn, give me your examples. Okay. 
I going to go to Cartagena, Colombia in February and maybe my mom will will come with me. Will come with me. Okay, great. Thank you. Oscar, your example. Um I'm uh, after this class I'm I'm going to to sleep and probably I rest uh, very good. Probably I will, will probably I will probably rest rest very, very good. good. Excellent. Uh, Edgar, give me another example. And then, and then Andrea. Edgar. I'm going to have a dinner after class. Uh, probably. I will and probably. I will probably. Um, I'm not sure what. I'm sorry, uh, I was not able to understand the last one. Uh, okay, so you are going to have a dinner after class. I will probably. Uh, probably, I want it. There I want. Can I use that way? In negative form. No te logro no entender el, la parte del will. Want, in negative. Ah, I want. I want it. Mm -hmm. That I want. Oh, okay, I got it. Probably I, I will, let's see. Probably I won't eat what I want. Is that what yeah. you want to say? Yeah. Okay. All right, Carlos. Yeah, teacher, uh, uh, in that um, situation, uh, you express, I probably, is that correct? I probably, I will, or only the, uh, uh, probably, probably. Let's see. No, I was repeating what he said. Okay. So, I'm going to have a dinner after class. Mm -hmm. Okay. Coma. I want probably eat what I want. That should be the correct sentence. I'm going to have a dinner after class, I won't probably eat what I want. Does it make sense? Yes, teacher, yes, yes. Okay. Thanks. I okay. want. Uh, I want is the contraction of, of will not. Okay. Will not, okay? So most of the times you are going to listen to native speakers saying want instead of will not. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Teacher and, and so mm -hmm. not is correct using the form in the way that I said. For example, I, I said, but probably I want it that I want. Not probably correct. I want it what I want. Yeah. According to the video, you need to use probably after the subject. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. I will probably. I will, uh, I guess, I, I, I reckon, okay? <coughs> Is it right. clear? Yeah. Thank okay. You. Thank you. Uh, next, Andrea. I'm going to finish the platform tonight. Mm -hmm. Everything will be okay. One more time. Um, I I going to finish 
the platform tonight. Everything be okay. Will be okay. Okay. Can somebody help her? Come on. Can somebody help her? Vicente, help her with the sentence. Okay. Uh, she says after class, uh, she going to work on platform and she hope everything will be right or okay. Okay. Is that okay? <laughs> One more time. I don't know. Uh, she says after class, uh, she going to work on platform, mm -hmm. and uh, she hope everything will be okay or will be right. Okay, makes sense. Now let's see the last one, Sarai. Mm. Mm. Let me think. Mm. Mm. I'm going to mm, review the lesson, this lesson tomorrow. Good morning. I think I will understood everything. One more time. I'm going to review this lesson tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I will understood everything. Okay, makes sense. Okay, thank you. Questions? No questions. No questions? Is everything clear? Yeah. Yes, at this moment. Okay. Everything. Vaya, entonces nos vamos a quedar hasta acá. Vamos a seguir el día de mañana. Con okay. el tema and have a nice night. Enjoy your dinner. You too. Thank you very much. Good evening. Good, good night, everybody. Good night. Everybody. Bye. Bye.